Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. For more information, go to bookmap.com. Uh, there's a free trial available there. Uh, for 14 days, it uh, not only gives you the software product for 14 days, but also access to the advanced order flow webinars and other resources. Uh, the idea here is to, um, uh, these, these webinars go through, the platform detail webinars, they go through just uh, what book map is, uh, defining it, uh, showing what it's displaying, uh, and then um, uh, asking or answering any questions that you have uh, regarding uh, uh, components and features. And then uh, in the advanced order flow webinars, uh, we, we really dig into the order flow uh, so that uh, uh, those that are current customers uh, have uh, uh, an understanding of you know, really how to, how to use this tool in the, in the live markets. Okay, so that webinar is at 11 Eastern uh, every day. Okay, if you have any questions, uh, reach out to us at support at bookmap.com. Uh, let's see here. Uh, this is where you can find Bookmap. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, Bookmap.com. Let's click on Explore. Uh, there's a few intro videos up here. We can scroll down a bit further and uh, see more information. Uh, there's the Bookmap Partners here. Uh, Bookmap for Equities. If you guys uh, trade equities, we have uh, NASDAQ Total View connect Connectivity. It's an excellent data feed. Uh, I can show some of those if you'd like to see them. Uh, go down a bit further. Um, you will need a data provider. Okay, we are not a data provider. We are a software platform. So you will need to connect Bookmap uh, through your brokerage uh, or your uh, data provider, and these are the ways that we connect. Okay, a little bit further down, uh, pricing tab. Okay, so this is where you can give the uh, free trial here. So you can subscribe to the basic, advanced, uh, or uh, reach out to us to learn more about the uh, quant uh, features. So uh, the bookmap basic is 49 per month, build quarterly, and the bookmap advanced. Now the difference between these two uh, are the add-ons and the ability to trade right from the bookmap chart. Okay, so um, the one-click trading is an advantage because you have the liquidity map there in front of you, and you can make uh, trade decisions uh, based on that to uh, uh, you know, help um, uh, fine tune your entries and your exits, All right? And then you can see that uh, we have developed quite a few uh, proprietary indicators that are based on uh, order flow and order book or volume and balances, uh, larger traders in the order book with a large lot tracker, uh, iceberg detector, uh, and a correlation tracker, okay, with other markets. All right, so, uh, yeah, give it a try if you haven't already, uh, and then you'll have access to all the other resources. Um, here's our, our Twitter page if you want to follow us on Twitter, uh, at bookmap underscore pro. And then you can you can also see the, uh, or subscribe to our YouTube page here, uh, and uh, scroll down a little bit. Uh, you can watch the um, intro video here, and then there's the features and components uh, playlist. So I, I would click on this playlist here. Uh, and uh, it'll take you to, let me just open it up this way, uh, it'll take you to all of the um, uh, different uh, uh, videos that you have in that playlist uh, to just get a, a feeling for, they're pretty short, uh, give a feeling for what uh, some of the um, uh, features and components are in Bookmap. That would be the first step to understanding what's going on uh, with Bookmap and how to use some of the features. Uh, and then uh, down below that, you can see these order flow video snippets. Okay, these are uh, very short videos that go through uh, phenomena in the order flow, okay? And this is where Bookmap shines uh, because it can um, uh, offer uh, a, a unique uh, visualization of the order flow, okay, that uh, other uh, platforms don't offer. And this, this allows for a lot more transparency into that market, okay? So uh, this is what we go through in detail during the... Um, uh, advanced analysis uh, webinars, all right? And then uh, further down, here's some of the pro traders that uh, using Bookmap and some of the selected webinars. If you want to take a look at what some of those uh, advanced uh, order flow webinars look like, you can watch some of these. Uh, and then we have uh, Futures Trader 71, um, 
several webinars from him. He's a bookmap user, and uh, you can look and watch uh, how he uses it. Okay, let's jump into bookmap. All right, so uh, I'm going to take a look at the NASDAQ uh, today, and um, uh, let's see here. All right, so here's our 930 open. You can see the wall of uh, uh, volume uh, begins in the subchart here. Uh, we have also an uh, indicator panel, uh, as you can see here. And this indicator panel is showing the cumulative volume delta. Uh, and uh, I'm actually going to close that. And uh, for those of you who are new here, uh, first off, I want to welcome you. Um, and uh, secondly, uh, I know this looks like there's a lot going on here. It's actually really simple stuff. Um, we're showing just three things here in the book map chart. We're showing historical best bid and offer the volume, okay, and, and the volume where it traded on that historical best bid and offer and the, and the amount of the size and the type of volume, okay. So it uh, gets into the details of the volume. Uh, and then we're showing the um, historical limit order book, okay. So here's our limit order book over here in book map, okay. This is the depth of market, right, 10 deep on the uh, on the offer, 10 on the uh, on the ask, Right, and then in this window, it's the same thing. Now, um, uh, we we take this liquidity that you see here, like these 103 or 90, 90 98 contracts here, and and we paint this uh, in the heat map, and then it is um, recorded onto the chart historically. So you have an understanding of outside of of price traded price, uh, what was going on in the in the auction. So you can see there was a lot of buyers here. Uh, and you can see that they pulled too. Some of them traded down here at this level, uh, but they started to pull, uh, as you can see in this this area here. And uh, they were got they got a little aggressive here, but then uh, probably pulled here. We can we can zoom in and check that out uh, later, but um, to see the details. But anyway, we have a good understanding of the intent of traders in the auction, right? So let me get more into that and explain it. And I'm going to do that by uh, taking layers of data off. Okay. We'll just look at a simple candlestick chart. All right, and um, now in uh, in this candlestick chart, uh, it's actually a new feature here. I'm going to actually turn that off. It's a little, little distracting. Okay, we're showing VWAP here, um, which is a nice new feature here. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, that's on the candlesticks. Um, so here's your basic candlestick chart. And uh, we can we also have the volume subchart down here. So you know candlesticks show us open high low close of a five minute period in this case. Okay, it's only four data points, uh, and we're kind of reading the tea leaves here and guessing uh, based on what we see in the candlestick pattern uh, what's going on here. Uh, and in this area here, well, it'd be uh, really really tough to to make that decision uh, because uh, you can see that uh, we're going sideways. Uh, there is pressure on both sides of the market, and the open of that period and the close of the period is very—they're very close to each other. Uh, and then you can see buyers stepped in. Okay, we made it up to new highs here for the session, uh, and then sellers stepped in and pushed it down below and made new lows for the session. So my my point is that if looking at this data here, uh, we're making financial trading decisions based on very limited data that is very opaque. Okay, where's the volume? Where did it trade? How much? What type of volume was it? What about the auction? Where were they lined up in the best, in the bid and the offer? Okay, that's going to have an effect on price, uh, and we have no uh, insight to any of that uh, on this chart. Okay, so uh, let's just turn on historical best bid and offer. Okay, and uh, what this allows us to do is now you can just see historical best bid and offer going back and forth here. Uh, and this allows us uh, insight uh, to microstructural areas immediately, okay? Like down in this area here, you, know, you can see the sell-off, and then we went back and forth for a while, right? And we went up above it, and we did not hold above that structure. We came back down, but we did not make a low here, okay? Uh, and uh, instead, uh, buyers came in and uh, moved it, moved price up, and then it looks like uh, under this area here, we're probably going to find more buyers uh, especially here, we're going to find more buyers, no, no question. But now we're starting to understand volume and um, uh, price activity within the structure, okay? And that, again, is lacking here in this candlestick chart, okay? 
Okay, so uh, let's turn on the volume. Let's take a look. All right, so we can see uh, there's uh, some some green up in these areas here, and this is what uh, we were anticipating. Uh, we're going to see the uh, aggressive uh, uh, buy volume pulling price up. Okay, it actually more was up here. I thought we'd see maybe a little bit more here, but uh, we don't. All right, we see it over on the other side here, but uh, we got a, a retracement and then a, a move back to the upside. Okay, um, so uh, anyway, uh, uh, the volume. Let's uh, zoom in here and let me show you uh, what kind of volume or how we're displaying this volume and classifying it. Okay, so here's our historical best offer, the red line, and historical best bid is the green line. Okay, now we can use this data tip tool, and we can hover over these dots. Okay, what are these dots? These dots uh, uh, are transactions that took place on the historical best bid and offer. Okay, this red dot here for a volume of seven, you, see, you can see I have the date, the time, what was on the uh, bid at that time at this price level, and uh, the volume at that price level. Okay, this was for a volume of seven. Now I can probably zoom in, continue to zoom in here, and we'll probably break this apart into several trades, and indeed we, we have. Okay, uh, in fact, let's, uh, you can see that in the timeline here, we're down at uh, millions of seconds. Okay, so uh, we've re we're recording every single piece of data that comes in through your data feed. Okay, and that's an important distinction here. Uh, because uh, we're not aggregating this data. Every event, every uh, a single event uh, is recorded, okay, uh, that we receive from the data feed, okay, and is projected into book map. Um, and um, now we can see really what traded here and how these markets trade. You know, they, they don't trade with a size of seven. They, you know, they, they, they're broken up into many, many different trades. Anyway, as I zoom back out, you can see that visually, Okay. Just, just visually, we're aggregating this together. Okay, so in all, in all, in all here, this was for a volume of seven. All right, and uh, now we have an understanding of um, uh, what took place here. Now this is aggressive selling. Okay, someone hit the market sell button, and uh, uh, the uh, transactions appeared here on the best bid. It took liquidity from the best bid. All right. Uh, on the other side, a green dot is a, uh, a market buy. Someone hit the market buy button, and uh, they're lifting the offer, all right? Okay, so uh, that's the volume. That's what we're displaying here. Uh, and um, uh, where we get uh, uh, many, many trades happening at once, you can see here we start to, uh, again, just visually aggregate this data uh, to give you the overall shape and delta of that volume. So there's some selling up here as well in this in this uh, cluster of buying, okay? And, uh, but um, uh, this cluster of buying is giving us a lot of insight here, okay? Now, if I continue to zoom out, uh, we can see that uh, over three quarters of this, uh, of, of these transactions with this big dot of 118 uh, trans, um, uh, contracts, uh, the majority of it is aggressive buying. Okay, and, it, and it's lifting the price. Okay, it's lifting it higher and higher, as you can see. Um, and um, yeah, very indicative of a trending market here. Uh, higher, uh, bigger volume, aggressive buying uh, at higher highs. Right, uh, and the swings to the low side, we see um, a less volume in these areas here. Okay, and uh, and it's selling, and you can see that the selling here is not much. Right, so rotates back up, price discovery to the upside, uh, and it continues to discover until something changes in the order flow. Okay, and that change may be occurring here. We see some selling coming in, not really. Okay, and uh, we see selling coming in here, and also a cluster down here. Right, uh, which gave us some pretty good insight because you can see that's where the uh, the move took place to the downside here. All right. Anyway, that's the volume. Now the volume is important, uh, and um, it's a it's a big part of the uh, order flow and understanding uh, of the um, uh, where traders are committed uh, in the marketplace. But this is really only half the picture. Okay. What about the uh, best bid and offer? What about the current market? The uh, the auction? What's going on in the auction? Okay. And this 
all these markets are, uh, they are auctions, okay? They are um, uh, defined as auctions uh, and, um, uh, and they function like that. And we can see here, this is the limit order book here, the current order book uh, in book map, okay? This is your depth of market, okay? Best bid and offer here, and then depth on the offer, depth on the bid. These are traders lining up here, providing liquidity uh, in contracts, okay, at these price levels. They're, they're bidding, okay? They wanna be buyers at these price levels. Uh, 6107 is the highest. We see 78 contracts here. 6110, we see 102, all right? So, uh, and this is the current state of the auction, right? And this is a good view. Uh, it's, it's very helpful to understand this. But we want a, 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 a bigger picture view of this. And the problem with the, the, the current order book uh, is it, it once this, with this data changes here uh, in this um, price ladder or in the depth of market here, uh, then we we lose that data. Okay, once it changes, uh, and we don't know what it was. Okay, so uh, that's a problem because we, we if we can see uh, how they were behaving at a price level over a longer period of time, we have insight to their intent to trade at that level. And we can also start to understand um, their behavior at that level. Are they pulling? Okay, as price is coming down, do they pull? Uh, do they add at lower levels? Well, that would be bearish. Okay, what if what if if price came down toward these toward them and they're adding in the book and uh, they're adding uh, at higher levels? That would be that would be bullish. They really want to be buyers. Okay, so all this kind of behavior uh, we can now display in the historical limit order book. All right, and here it is. Okay, so as I was uh, uh, beginning with the uh, webinar here, uh, in this window we take these uh, numeric values in the limit order book, and uh, we give it a graphical representation in the heat map. All right, so high liquidity is painted bright white. Uh, other areas are painted uh, uh, that are are not as high are are, are grayer. Okay, uh, the the uh, smallest areas of liquidity are are the darkest. All right, and as I zoom out now, I have a pretty good understanding of their behavior here. So these guys up here, for example, uh, they're starting to pull their liquidity. Okay, and where are they where are they, where are they adding? We can see it perfectly right here. Okay, uh, they're pulling liquidity here and adding it up above. Okay, so this is kind of bullish. They're on these sellers are on the retreat. They don't want to be sellers at 61.11. They want to be up here at 61.12. Now they're up here at 61.14. Okay, so we have an understanding of the intent of some of these traders. All right, let's take the candlesticks off and uh, and take a look now at uh, what price is doing right now. All right. Okay, so um, uh, we can see here uh, a nice breakout of this level here, okay, where there was high liquidity previously. Uh, and, um, and now it looks like it's starting to flip over from the offer to the bid, okay? So we have potentially, now we need to see if we accept above here, uh, but we see quite quite a bit of, of volume up here. Uh, and um, uh, it's uh, yeah. It looks like uh, it, it wants to uh, continue on up uh, to hit some of this higher uh, liquidity up here uh, on the offer. Okay, we may get a pullback here, but uh, probably a pullback into uh, maybe some of these areas here, or uh, to test this liquidity here. Okay, they were bidding up at a higher level now, okay? and that's showing kind of bullish behavior here. Now they're starting to pull as well, so maybe they don't have the intent to trade here. Okay. But we can we'll, we'll be able to read it here, and we'll read the uh, the order flow as it as it unfolds. Okay, this is what we do in the uh, in the live webinars uh, uh, for the entire time. Start to uh, uh, read this, put it together, and anticipate price price uh, movement. Okay, so um, uh, for example, you know based on what we just saw, we're looking for uh, maybe a test up here into this uh, uh, 13 and a half or 14 area. All right, so this is the new, uh, potentially new range here. Uh, volume and time and price starting to accept above this 6111 area. Okay. So any questions? Well, this is what Bookmap is showing you, uh, and uh, this is the kind of insight that you're getting here that you're missing 
uh, in uh, in other platforms uh, to understand the uh, uh, the volume uh, exactly where it traded, how much, uh, and um, uh, what type, uh, and the overall shape of it. Okay, so now we're starting to exhaust out here, right? Look at the look at these little points up here, and we need to see big uh, volume trade up at higher highs here. And that would be the the, the trending uh, environment we're looking for. Okay. Well, it, we we're starting to exhaust out. We're not we're not. You can see that uh, uh, price kind of ra is rounding out here, and we're seeing that they're getting kind of interested here, uh, uh, lowering the offer 61.13. Okay. Uh, and uh, and we note that there, there's less aggressive buying here, so maybe we'll get a, a small rotation back down into this uh, area here around 61.11. And um, let's see if sellers come in. Okay, now we're looking for uh, if we're going to get that pullback here, we're looking for these sellers to start hitting the bid. And there they are; they just came in. Okay, so uh, uh, and we'll see now if buyers think that uh, uh, this new reality of price uh, at this 61.11 uh, is is a deal, uh, and uh, maybe they will start to buy uh, again on on this pullback, looking for. Uh, price discovery to the upside okay and you can see buyers are coming back in so we're, we're in a range right now between this uh, uh, 6110 and three quarters and 6113 okay anyway uh, that's more or less it uh, any any questions okay any any traders out there that um, a trade using the uh, volume profile. Or any other, any traders uh, uh, using uh, some sort of uh, a volume study. And uh, what what type of study is it if you if you could Okay, here we go. So coming up now, we got our little pullback and uh, now aggressive buyers are back in. And they're pulling, so we can see here that the, these guys uh, started to pull their liquidity up here too. Okay, Jim. So uh, yeah, you uh, you look at some volume studies. All right. Well, uh, the reason I ask uh, is that um, the uh, bookmap works really well with uh, uh, auction market theory uh, and uh, and volume profile, uh, and uh, it's just um, it. What uh, is easy, it's easier, I think, for um, uh, volume profile traders uh, in general, if, you know, then they start to understand context of the marketplace based on the volume, okay? Uh, based on like, okay, well, let's, uh, let's study some of the volume. All right, so, uh, uh, you know, we're looking at, um, uh, well, uh, in this area here, you know, we were looking at uh, more volume trading up at these higher areas. Okay, above this swing here. Okay, so it's making a new profile, uh, and um, uh, you know it, we're going to see a, um, a low volume node in in. Uh, uh, in let me just uh, kind of map this out here. Okay, there's going to be a lot of volume here, and now we're starting to see a lot of volume here. This is going to be your low volume node. Okay, and you can see it here in this chart. Okay, uh, and um, let me make this a little bit bigger. All right, and uh, yeah, so uh, uh, here here it is here with this uh, um, chart range volume profile, and uh, it's actually I was looking for a little bit smaller uh, or you know uh, a, a, a lower volume node here at 61.11, but uh, there was some there's some big volume that traded here. So um, uh, anyway, the um, the point is 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 starting starting to understand like for example uh, the volume in this area uh, it's mostly buying. Okay, uh, and uh, we then we started to note that it started that buying started to uh, to curb up in this area here. All right, we're looking for a little bit of a pu uh, pullback, maybe down to 61.11. We didn't even get that far. Uh, it just came down uh, to this uh, uh, 61.11 and a half, uh, and then buyers stepped in and, and um, uh, we we uh, made higher highs here. Okay, so understanding that the pressure here uh, in volume profile. Uh, you know, mostly buying, okay, pulling this price up, uh, and um, uh, but 
understanding that context of this volume and putting the pieces together, okay? Uh, and using that process is the same type of process you'll use for when you turn the volume off, okay? And then we start to just um, look at the context of the auction, okay? So, uh, for example, uh, if we zoom in here, click on the hand tool, and just we'll just zoom in here. Uh, we can see here how you know they're they're um, they're here on the offer. They're pulling and they're up at at, uh, at higher areas. Okay, and then we noted in in this area they started to get a little aggressive. Uh, started to bring it down here, but then as price came back back up, they pulled, pulled again, and pulled again. All right. So the context here. So they're actually um, uh, pulling liquidity to higher areas. It looks like a transaction occurred up here. Uh, because we see the uh, high uh, liquidity here, uh, see it's 102 contracts, and uh, price went right into it. Okay, so we'll probably see a big volume dot up here, uh, and um, uh, the transaction took place. All right, uh, so uh, uh, that's where this uh, works quite well, understanding liquidity, and most of us are not accustomed to understanding liquidity. Right, we're under. We understand uh, volume, all sorts of uh, 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 derivatives of time, price, and volume, uh, all sorts of indicators. Looking for uh, some sort of advantage uh, using those indicators. Uh, instead, uh, using uh, the heat map here, we can we can understand the intent of the traders. Okay, and we, we can uh, kind of. Um, uh, because this is really what, what matters here, uh, is the intent of the traders and their commitment with their trades. Okay. So, uh, one, we, we need to put that into context, uh, and we can, we're, we're reading the context here. Okay. We read this, uh, flip here, as you can see from, uh, from the offer to the bid and this, uh, volume trading up above this, this, uh, structure here. Uh, and most of it was aggressive buying here. Okay. And we got price discovery to the upside, and these guys pulled up here. Okay, we're looking for a little pullback. We did get it, uh, and then we saw them uh, come right back in. All right. So anyway, um, I hope that helps uh, understand context uh, of the liquidity. Okay, the auction, uh, and um, uh, and putting that together with the um, uh, the traded volume. All right, so let's turn on the volume, and there's our big transaction up here, and actually even more down below, okay? All right, guys, well, let's call it a day, uh, and I will see you in the other webinar that will start in just a minute, okay? All right, thanks, guys. Take care.